Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's your boy Terrence Carter, and I am here, back at it again with another video. So, I want to send some good vibes and good energy to everybody watching today's video. Happy Friday. There's something about delaying your gratification in life that teaches you a lot about yourself. Cheaper attention and no fat. Learning how to cultivate this energy within. Learning yourself on a total different level. Mentally, spiritually. Learning how to manage your emotions. Not saying that you're perfect, because nobody's perfect. Well, I'm not perfect. I'll be the first one to tell you. But just learning how to be better than who you were the previous day. Now, delaying your gratification is something that you're not naturally taught. Because it is a internal decision that you have to make for yourself. And I know that we live in a world where people want instant gratification, right? But that has a lot to do with the programming within. Now I've seen a total different shift in my own reality. The way that I view not only my internal world, but this outside reality. You know? Things are constantly changing and moving. To learn to be more observant in life, everything is energy. And everything is constantly moving. Right? So everything is constantly changing. Nothing really stays the same permanent. Now, me being addicted to instant gratification stemmed from me being addicted to porn. Me having the ability to delay my gratification and learn that within myself stemmed from me being on semen retention and no fat. Now, I can definitely tell you that I feel way better learning how to delay my gratification with things. I can also tell you that my external world, this, this external world has definitely changed for me because of my ability to delay my own gratification. Now, as a man, you have to be willing to go without. It is called making sacrifices, short-term sacrifices for long-term gains. If as a man, you put more of your sexual energy into chasing outside pleasure, you will lose this game of life that requires you to be more purpose driven. Outside pleasures are the clubs, the partying, the strip clubs, the watching PMO, um, putting, putting people first before you put yourself, uh, not having no real, like, if you don't got no goals for yourself, that's bad, right? That's real, that's real life bad. Um, outside pleasures too is like gambling, uh, drinking alcohol every day, like things like that. That's all outside of yourself. Uh, 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 trying to impress other people. That's outside pleasures, right? Now, the internal world requires you to love yeah, yourself yeah. unconditionally. Take care of the vessel that you are in because you only get one vessel to operate for the rest of your life. 
that's it. You get one. You get one mind, you get one body, you get one spirit, that's it, that's all. Right? So, this is where the discipline comes into play. This is where the delayed gratification comes into play. This is where the mental clarity comes into play as well. Because you know that the clarity that you need stems from the things as all right so let me just say this right the clarity that you need once you get on retention and no fat and you learn how to make this a lifestyle aka taking it one day at a time you'll realize that the clarity that you needed always came from within you it never came from an outside source so you got to know that in order for you to continuously enjoy this journey on retention or no fat, it's gonna require you to be a different version of you. It's gonna require you to change. It's gonna require you to be very, very uncomfortable. And I know we get comfortable very, very quickly as human beings. But I also know that we adapt very, very well to change as human beings. Spiritual beings, having this human experience. Because we're multi-dimensional, so we adapt pretty well. You gotta remind yourself why. Why you wanna stop, you know, watching the point. And you gotta remind yourself why you're on retention. Why you're on no fat. Your why should always be bigger than you. I know every single day I need my energy. My energy is me. My energy completes me. I know that, I know that in order for me to manifest things here on this third dimensional planet, I need the energy within me to be cultivated every day and transmuted in the right direction. I'm trying to walk away from the music. I know that in order for me to serve humanity and my own greater good, I have to be very, very protective of my energy. Now also just my energy, but what I feed my mind, what, I, what I'm doing on a day-to-day -day basis, you know what I'm saying? What I'm listening to on a day-to-day -day basis, you gotta be very, very protective. Another thing too that's very, very important is for you to continue to grow the strongest connection with God. Because without God, we are legitimately nothing. Like, look at this, bro. It's, it's beautiful, man. Like, it's when I look at things around me, and also when I go within, I know that we are all a creation from the Most High God. We are all created in God's image. And we are all powerful creators. You just gotta learn how to believe in your creative energy. Retaining my seed helps me use my creative energy to my advantage. Mentally, spiritually, I feel more aligned. Physically and emotionally. Yeah, I get it. I, I have my aggressive moments. I'm not even going front to y'all. But at the end of the yeah, day, I hold myself more accountable for my actions and how I continuously feel about myself. I can't control how others feel about me, nor can I control other people just in general. Nobody can control the next person. You can only control yourself and use your energy to your greater good. Delay your gratification. Take life one day at a time. Enjoy the process. Enjoy the process of change. Enjoy the process of thinking more abundantly. You're not used to thinking abundant because it wasn't taught to you. If it was taught to you, shout outs to you. But if it wasn't taught to you, you gotta be able to teach it to yourself. And that requires a lot of repetition. A lot of changing what you tell yourself. Adapt to using this energy to help you in your life. 
Nobody's gonna care about your energy as much as you do. There's a reason why they made pornography free. It is to distract you. Take your energy, you are the source. Ask God for guidance and protection. And ask God to show you what you need to see. I just wanted to share this video with y'all and be able to express myself freely. Gain something from today's video, which I'm pretty sure you did. Be sure to give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel, leave your comments below. And I'll be creating more videos for y'all. It's your boy, Terrence Carter.